What's up guys, Seven here back again with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. In the last episode, we made our way to Heart Home City, and we looked around a bit, uh, saw the Super Pokemon Contest, got into another rival battle with Boyd, and now we're going to make our way to Veilstone City, which is going to be along this way over here to the left, at Route 209. Off screen, I did go back over to uh, Dubalife City and went towards the building to the far left to reach to uh, lead the city. And there is where you get the old rod. Um, I'll show that clip now, somewhere in the corner on screen, just so you can see it. And also on my way back, I did catch an Abra um, by going immediately to the right hand side to, like, in case we're going to Org uh, Orgburg for the very first time, you can catch an Abra over there at nighttime. It's going to be in level 5 range, so it's very low level. But just as soon as you run into one, I would just throw a Pokeball just because. Uh, as Abras tend to do, as soon as you go into a fight with it, unless you use like Mean Look or something to keep them in the battle, they'll just automatically use Teleport to get out of there ASAP. So as soon as you see one, if it's low level, I would just toss a ball and pray. And hopefully you'll get, you'll uh, catch it. So anyway, now we're actually going back over toward, we're not going back, but now we're finally making our way over towards Veilstone. And I'm going to take out this, uh, ro this Pokemon Breeder, that's what he was. Oh, you have Sturdy. Oh, no, I just... No, if that was a critical hit, you must have Sturdy. Yeah, okay. So does that mean you learned Mock Punch now? You little... Okay, okay. I see how it is. Let's go with a Power-Up Punch now. You know, I don't need to. Let's see how well you do against my Powered Up Punch when you only have 1 HP left. Yeah, scrub, you yeah, yeah, silly bonsai tree. As always, guys, please let me know your days going on in the comments section below. Uh, did I talk about my day so far? Yeah, I did. Unfortunately, I did talk about it. Uh, if you're not sure, like, this is another recording session, so uh, I'm still within part... So they, this is 11, so we, part 9 is the start of this recording session. So it's still within that same day, so yeah, if you... If you wouldn't really know how well my day was, just watch part 9 and that tells you since it's still the same day as when part 11 is being recorded. Oh, gosh darn it, you have static. I hate that ability. I do have a berry that can get rid of it, so it's not a big, big deal. It's just an inconvenience to do. Nah, I'll we'll keep in Ace. And I'll take care of that paralysis later on. And just go ahead and use a flame wheel. Hope I don't get paralyzed. Oh, cool. Even when I'm paralyzed, I still outsped it. Which, I don't know why I'm that shocked. It's level 15. I'm level 33, so if I'm not outspeeding it even when I'm paralyzed, there's there's an issue going on here. Good stuff. Your Pokemon impeccable condi are in impeccable condition. And... Yeah, no, let me switch out. Reveal, you take over for a sec. Hmm, a good rod is really good, wouldn't you? Re okay, good! I can get another rod! I was so worried I was going to have to try to use that one and figure out where I can get the other rods, but... Uh, no, I don't need to get an explanation on how good rod works. So it's a slightly enhanced version of the old rod, and you get to catch a more variety of Pokémon. And we're about to get into a double battle, so... It might be in my best interest to go ahead and cure that paralysis now before we go and get started. Alright, let's take out these twins. We battle together, that's why we're tough. We're gonna crunch and munch you all up. Okay, kiddo. I, I don't think that's what you, be say, you should be saying to strangers, but let's go ahead and take out twins Emma and Lil. And they have a Bonsly and a Mime Jr. Alright, Viola and Ace, let's go ahead and take them out. And as you can see, I gave Viola her own little ball now capsule, which lets you know, full member, 100% in on it now. If it hadn't been already obvious, since, you know, I've been putting so much time and effort into raising her. Uh, let's go ahead and use Giga Drain on Bonsly. And Ace, you can go ahead and use... Flame Wheel on the Mime Jr. And with any luck, I should be able to one-shot both of them. 
Ace, I wasn't that worried about, but actually, no. I, uh, Viola can definitely one-shot that Bonsly, but Viola leveled up in that one. Gengar Drain, should be enough to take it out. Yes, it definitely is, and you don't have Sturdy on you, so I don't have to worry about 1 HP nonsense. And I get a little full restore out of that, too. Oh, you forgot. Oh, so too bad. Emma and Lil, you guys got to be defeated. Wah! Uh, yeah, an another wah. I'm not doing that one. Sorry too much. It's getting late. I don't want to start yelling. Uh... Hi, hi. I'm a Pokemon. Okay. Are you going to fight me? Because I feel pretty bad. Please tell me you have a Pikachu or a Pichu. Yeah, you have a Pikachu. Oh, well, her 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 outfit is like generally accurate because it has a curved tail and she's a little girl. All right, Viola, let's go ahead. Let's use Bullet Seed. Let's see how much damage we can do with that. Hopefully, it'll be enough to knock it out. Cool, just two. Sorry, Pikachu. And let's see. No level ups, but. Pretty close, pretty close. Maybe for Lucky. I'm so angry. You don't look angry at all. You just look more like very uncomfortable right now. Uh, okay, there's an item back here. You can barely see it unless you move a bit over. It's an X-Accurs. Okay, it's something I, I don't care to use. But something that can be sold later on. Is there anything in there? Listen, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a battle with your Pokemon. Sure, no problem. It's what I'm here for, to gather up all your experience. Pokemon breeder Jennifer. Oh, God, another mind junior. You know, actually, now that I think about it, is this... I think this will be, like, one of the very few videos that's actually recorded at night, since we actually have a night backdrop onto it, so... That's actually pretty cool. Let's go and use Poison Sting, since it is a fairy type, it's weak to poison. Oh, it's not enough to one-shot it, but it's... Oh, you're almost pound. That baby move. Go and use Poison Sting again and finish it off. Still got two more Pokemon left to do, but yeah. A lot of my videos are either recorded, uh... Actually, just during the day. Either daytime or, like, maybe for your lucky sunset. That's because I choose not to record a lot at night, just because I want to make sure I'm not disturbing anyone else and the people like beside me even though I only got like roughly 30 more minutes before like I'm gonna call it a favorite recording just so I can actually work on a drawing oh, I guess that's something new uh there is a drawing I plan on doing uh for my job so I want to start sketching out some things to see uh what they would like for me to like work on because honestly I'm nervous about doing it just because it's been a while since I did anything like that recently and doing it with paint I'm not that experienced when it comes to painting so that's why I'm kind of hesitant on doing it because it's like all right if you want me to draw something on a piece of paper or whatnot cool I can do that but having me to like paint something like oh that's 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 going to be tough there Joe I, I usually don't dabble in the paints so we'll see we'll see uh, I used to do ceiling tiles back when I was in high school, but that's, that was a long time ago. Like, forever ago, so... I know I'm gonna be rusty at it, but if I keep that same principle in mind of when I was doing those, and stack that on top of the experience I have now, and, like, basic knowledge of how to go about painting a mural, then maybe it'll work out. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, do you do anything? When I was jogging the other day, a wild Pokemon came after me. I ran so fast, I was on top of the waves, I swear. And there's a broken crumble tower made of stone. There seems to be an odd spot that we perfect fit for the odd keystone. Would you like to use the odd keystone? Uh, we got that in the last, I got that off screen, but uh, just before you get to Heart Home City, towards the bottom left before you enter it into that uh, mid divider that goes into the city, there's this person that will say, uh, don't say anything, just take it. So we'll go ahead and put in the Ock Keystone. Alan puts the Ock Keystone into the Stone Tower. The Stone Tower has been restored. Hollow Tower is written on it. The Hollow Tower appears to have been built many years ago. 
So yeah, where is Ao to put that in? I I know this is somewhat how you, you go about getting a spirit tomb, but I don't remember exactly what I need to do to complete that process. So we'll focus on that later. Uh, I'm gonna walk through over here. The uh, Grand Underground is. It would take literally barely any time at all. But I do. Uh, no. Let's actually skip these guys and make our way to. Scalation Town. Huh. Is this the daycare? Yeah, this is where we can, like, use a uh, ditto if we find one to start mating Pokemon and get, like, little babies. Uh, so, there's a lot of farmers through here, and I believe in the upper left, there's, like, a whole field of Psyduck that won't freaking do anything, but I kind of want to avoid going against all these guys and just hurry up and make our way to Veilstone City just because I'll, I'll mostly try to deal with all these guys off screen just so I can you know hurry up and get things done for you guys make progress let me just switch my gears ooh that was close let me come around you guys over here Nope. What's this? Okay, no, we can get milk from over there, but I really just want to hurry up and get to Ve Oh no, I remember this. Oh, I'm not going to have much of a choice with these guys, at least for some of them. And switch Ace back in front. Yeah, I'm going to have to deal with these guys because they're not really going to let me skip over them. Alright, Treasure Hunter, today the loot is a victory for me. You're about to go home empty handed there, pal, because you're about to get spelunked. Ruined Maniac Calvin. You wanna set up Oh god, I hate I'm so glad I switched Ace back in front because Bronzors with their metal bodies are annoying to deal with with my other type of Pokemon. So unless you got a fire type or uh, a fighting type, this will be a lot easier. Oh, but they do have that um that psychic subtyping, so the fighting type moves might decrease it a little bit, but it shouldn't be that much of an issue. You'll still be able to take them out pretty easily. Oh, you want to use payback right after I did that much damage? Okay, good. You didn't do that much. I was worried for nothing. Go ahead and use flame wheel one more time. And since it is raining, uh, fire type moves do get a little weaker just because it is doing that. But if you have a water type Pokemon, it'll increase their abilities. And with certain Pokemon, uh, with like Swift Swim, I believe. Uh, they have to get stronger. So let's let's keep out uh, Ace, because this is the other poke um, fossil Pokemon that you can get if you are playing Shining Pearl, and which the what was it? What number? Uh, it wasn't the seventh. I think it's like the sixth gym leader. It uses the evolve from this one. Uh, as his main Pokemon, uh, Rourke's father. I forget his name. Go and use Flame Wheel again, because I believe it is a Steel type. Was it Steel or was it Ground? I think it is. No. No, he does use Steel type. Maybe because it is parts of the ground, I think it's because that's why it's not doing as much now. Let's go and use. Uh, yeah. Okay. There it goes. So the fighting type moves is more effective on it than the fire type, so good thing to keep in mind going forward. And Ace got another level up. Defense didn't increase at all, but our attack is looking pretty hot. So is our special attack. They're both pretty well. I just don't want my defense to get too low, because I don't want him to become like a glass tank, so where he can't take any hits. Go away. Well, okay, good. You don't even find me anyway. Go ahead and pick up this ether. And if I can avoid some people, I will. Like you. And let's see where this will take us. Ooh! Almost got me there, pal. Turn back around. Turn around. 
I'm not moving until you turn your ass around there, pal. Book it! Uh, no. Ooh, gosh darn it. Okay, now it's quickly so I can get up here. Okay, there's a guard spec over here. It's a hold item. Uh, actually, no, it's not a hold item. That one's just a regular one. Anyone over here? Yes, I'll take the grass. Ah, I might as well see what this is. Ooh, TM-34 Shockwave. I actually found this one down the Grand Underground, but at least I get to show you guys it. Me getting it on screen over here. Uh, I don't think you attack me, so... I'll still try to avoid you. Oh, I don't have a choice but to fight these two. Uh, let's switch Viola out for Rock... Actually... Viola and Usopp. Just so the other two members of my team have a chance to sign. I'm taking the Veilstone Gym Challenge, but first... I'll battle anyone. That's how... That's how I'll get better. They'll probably be the last two people I end up fighting. Just because of where I'm at time-wise. And then I have to go all the way back, double back, fight everyone else that I've skipped over here to get that experience. And then... Look for any of the Pokemon that's here so I can capture them in case I don't have them. It's raining. Alright, so, God Usopp, thankfully you're out. I'll go ahead and have you use Water Gun on Monferno. And Nico Robin, you. Whew, we can just both team up on that Monferno and take him out. Uh, let's have you attack Clammy Owl with Wig Attack. And, okay, good. We were able to fully take it out with one hit. So, hopefully, God Usopp, you can keep up with Robin, even though you're ahead of her. Robin's really trying to catch up to everyone else right now. Because the sooner I get HM Surf, and I'm able to get that dusk, uh, dusk Stone, the sooner I can go ahead and evolve Robin into Honchkrow. I'm going to send out Kadabra. Alright, Robin still got this. And Dennis is going to send out Gariados. Mm. Don't really have anyone here that can deal with that. I used to have... Anaru, but Anaru has long since been retired, so it doesn't matter. We'll still be able to take care of this out pretty well. Let's go ahead and use... Let's use Assurance on Gyarados. You know, that would have been more super effective against Kadabra. I just want to go ahead and attack it, just so I can deal with some damage to it, and then Kadabra can be fully taken out. Good job, God Usopp. Okay, good. Carrot leveled up. Carrot's gotten getting some pretty good stats in this level up, so it's another uh, Pokemon that um, evolves through maximum friendship. So that's why it's going to take a bit for Carrot to evolve into Law Penny. So I don't know what's going to happen. I just really want a Law Penny, <laughs> and sooner I get that done, the better. Gonna use Headbutt, and you can use Nightshade. The sooner I get a Law Penny, the sooner I can go in the box, but. I, too, I definitely don't want to use two normal type Pokemon on my team, because especially going into like this upcoming boss fight, their gym battle, who is like a fighting type gym, it, it would make no sense. So, yeah, no. God, who's that one's playing takedown? This one has recoil damage on, doesn't it? Yes, this damaged me a little. Uh. Hmm. I rather not have takedown, so I'm okay with not learning that move. But with that, we defeated Ace Trainer Maya and other guy. I did not see your name in time for me to fully remember it, so sorry. Anyway, hopefully they were the last two people. Now we can make our way to Valstone. What do you have to say? I went to go see a Celestis Town, but there are some Pokemon in the way. Oh yeah, I I do remember that. Cool, we made it to Veilstone City, and also this is where we can get the Dawn Stone, like up through here. But that'll be like once we finish everything here, we can go and get that. So getting close, getting very close. So anyway, this is going to be a good place to end off the video. Let me first go to the Pokemon Center and do my send off there. Hey, right, cool. Now that I'm here. 
Thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. In the next one, we will go ahead and take on the Veilstone City Gym Leader and see what else we got to do. So, until then, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked the video, give the video a like, leave a comment, all those good things I normally say at the end of these videos. And as always, let me know how your days are going down in the comments below. So, until then, take care everyone.